mask clamp today. So I got a little technique that I can show you when it comes to foam painting and doing some veining. I know that sometimes uh, you may want to have a little extra project and don't know what to do, but this is a cool one. We're actually redoing my kitchen and what we're doing here is that we, we went ahead and primed it, sanded it, primed it, and now we're going to be adding some veining to it in order to kind of blend the walls with the cabinet, so the two colors, into one. So let me show you. First of all, you're going to need one of these brushes. Don't know the name of it, but it's from Symphony. And it's a three inch, but you can see how long these bristles are. And I don't use this for painting at all. You'll see what I'm going to use this for. And then there's this other little brush that's got the, this real long, skinny, uh, pointy one. This is my favorite one, my go-to for veining. And then, of course, you got to have your rag. So we're going to go ahead and show you how it's done. So check it out. So this is the direction that I want to go. So I think I want to go ahead and come here. Probably come here and then take a turn and then come up. So I got a little paint here. Just gonna dip it a little bit. So some about here to that angle. And I'm gonna go right on top of the tape. And I'm not, I don't want straight, I don't want to be straight. And even if I skip, and I don't want to go too far before I do this. So basically, just kind of push the paint a little bit. That's a little too much, so that's where the rag comes apart. I'm going to just wipe a little bit here. So it gives me that little striation there. So now I'm going to go back to this guy. So if you go too long, then it dries up on you too quick and you don't want to. This is a water-based product. And it doesn't have to be straight, and I'll explain why in a minute. So now I'm going to push it the other way. Okay, and I want to make sure that this is clean because I don't want to get it on the side there. And I'll show you here in a second. So we got some white paint from the brush on the top, so I'm just going to wipe it off. And that's it. So now this I'm going to work with here in a second because it's a little too long. Just get a little bit of paint. I'm going to start from the top. I'm going to go ahead and move that. So it's just a little too long. Now I'm going to go up. Notice I'm not straight. So I don't want to keep going the same direction. So you notice this is going this way, that one's going that way, that one. So I don't want to keep it all the same direction. Definitely want to vary it out. So check this out. I'll work this again. And even if I'm not right on top, I'll show you something in a second. Okay. So it's okay to do this, watch. So let's say that you want to add again in the same line, but all of a sudden you're on the side. That's fine because there are veins. See how I am right next to it? It's like a double vein. done here. Okay. 
so now so I got my vein going on top but remember I said I was going to work with this here so like this guy here so watch this so I'm going to take a little bit more and just come off by him Yeah, that looks pretty cool right there. Now, it's okay to skip a little bit because real in the real stone has that effect. So I joint it with that crack. So right here, just gonna add it, and then I'm gonna add another vein right there. Okay, so now you see the broader picture here? Check this whole thing out. So that looks like a marbleized piece of countertop. Now, eventually, I am going to go ahead and seal it with a glossy countertop sealer to protect it. But these are some of my stones, real stones that I use for inspiration to kind of roughly get some ideas. So, so you can see how it's how it's got skipping lines in there and it's got small ones it's got you see this little dot there and it goes out well I created that like right there and you can see some cloudiness and also really nature tells you how to what you can do so basically what we wanted just to show you guys that you can take your counter uh, your kitchen and your countertop give it a facelift and be able to have a totally different outlook. In fact, check that one out there. Oh, uh, it just looks like a piece of marble. So we went ahead and finished some of the veining. So we haven't sealed it yet, but we want you to give you a preview of what it looks like before I put the sealer on. Check this out. So this is some of the veining. Again, we didn't want to go too wild. We just wanted some basic, just to kind of bring it that modern look. So we have this blue tape on here. We're keeping that on there until we do our sealer. Then we'll peel it off. Let me see here. So guys, comment below and let me know what you guys think. Should I put more veining to this? Or should I just do less? Or, or is this just the right amount? Again, you can go crazy by adding a lot more veining because you know there's like that tile that I showed you earlier. It's all over the place. So it depends on how busy you want to get, but please uh, leave comments below and let me know. I'd like to know what you guys think. Uh, should I put more? Should I put less? Or this is just the right amount. So I hope you guys like this and like the content in the video. Uh, please make sure that uh, give me a thumbs up, hit like, and, uh, and share it. And give us a comment. Let me ask you this. Would you rather have white first? and then this um, agreeable gray as your veining or would you what other colors would you prefer to see leave it in the comments and let me know and then uh, if you have some ideas i can uh, help you out but i'm curious what colors would you choose what kind of combination you know right now we have agreeable gray with white veining let me know if you like it the other way around